video, we'll show you how to use and care for your flutter valve, also known as vibratory PEP therapy. This small handheld device helps move mucus out of your lungs by combining positive pressure and vibrations when you exhale. It's often used by adults and children five years or older. PEP therapy is commonly used for patients with COPD, cystic fibrosis, asthma, atelectasis, or other lung conditions that involve mucus buildup. The flutter valve includes a mouthpiece or mask, a main body, and a resistance dial. You can use it sitting up, reclined, or even lying on your side. First, set the dial recommended by your physician. To increase the resistance, turn the dial clockwise, with five being the hardest setting. Turning the dial counterclockwise will decrease the resistance with one being the easiest. Take a deep breath in, but do not fill your lungs completely. Hold your breath for two to three seconds, then exhale through the device slowly and steadily for three or four times longer than inhalation. You should feel a vibration in your chest. That's how it helps shake mucus loose. Do this for 10 to 20 breaths, then take a break and perform a huff cough. Complete a huff cough, take a slow deep breath to fill lungs about three quarters full. Hold breath for two or three seconds, then exhale forcefully, but slowly in a continuous exhalation to move mucus from the smaller to the larger airways. Proper cleaning and maintenance of your equipment is essential for both hygiene and performance. Please note that the flutter valve should be replaced every six months. There are multiple ways to clean or disinfect the flutter valve. Do not bleach, do not microwave, visually inspect the device to ensure that the unit is free of contaminants and foreign objects. After each use, disassemble and rinse all parts with warm water. Shake off extra water and let everything air dry. Daily, wash parts with mild dish soap and water, then rinse and dry. Weekly, boil parts for five minutes or place them in the top rack of your dishwasher. You can soak the device in alcohol for five minutes twice daily. Acapella device is compatible with 70% alcohol. Once soaked, rinse the device with sterile water. You can prepare the water by boiling for five minutes. Please allow the water to cool down before rinsing. Never skip cleaning. It helps prevent infections and keeps your device working properly. Use your flutter valve regularly to help keep your lungs clear and reduce the risk of infection. And always contact your provider if you have discomfort or questions about using the device. You've got this, and we're here to help every breath of the way.